What's up YouTube, it's Hack Your Device here and today I'm going to be showing you an alternative to Winterboard. Now this app is called Dreamboard and it's not exactly the same as Winterboard but some of them, some people refer it to Winterboard so I'm just going to show you a quick review. So basically what this application does is it masks other OS's so it comes with a built in Android one, you can download new ones on Cydia as you can see as I've got off at the moment so if I just want to go on it uh, if you want to rearrange the icons then you have to press the edit option so when you see when you go on it it's going to say apply edit and reset now reset obviously means reset it to how it was when you first downloaded it edit to move things around and delete widgets and whatnot and apply to you know set the actual theme so let's go ahead and apply it so it's going to come up like this and I'll get back when it's finished loading Actually, there's no point because it's already finished. Right, so basically, this is what it's going to look like. So, as you can see, it changed my icons because I already had them arranged to how I wanted to. So, I've got my Cydia app store, some games and messages down here. And if we scroll over, it's going to have a clock widget that actually is in real time. And I've just put my social apps along here. So, like Twitter, Tag, Facebook, Ping Chat, whatnot. Um, Cydia, iPod, and phone and over here. So, it still runs the apps how it would do. And on the iPhone, basically, it's just like an advanced theme. That's why it's like a winterboard alternative because it basically just sets the whole theme for you, so you don't have to download a bunch of stuff. So, if I want to go on to, I don't know, for example, phone quickly, um, as you can see, it's going to come up with these just like the normal iPhone would. So, I'm not sure what the back button does yet, the backboard doesn't really do much. You've got the plus button down here, so when you press on it, it's going to come up with like clouds although it should do hold on okay so I'm back so the reason why it wasn't working is because my Wi-Fi was off so basically you see the clouds on the screen here and that represents the weather so that's like the built-in weather app if you want to change these you can toggle it by pressing the plus button down here and obviously that disables it you know makes it freeze if you press it again it comes on um, Oh, I'll turn it off. Right. So over here, you scroll left. You've got your Facebook app. Um. Uh. Right. So basically, what else? Right. So this button down here takes you to your main menu. Sorry if a finger keeps getting away. I'm recording this on an iPod Nano, and the camera's in a stupid place. Anyway, so you just scroll through like normal. It's pretty cool because it actually represents a pretty accurate copy of the Android firmware on HTCs. And as you can see, it's basically got all your apps just scattered around everywhere. So if you like this, then you know it's great. If you want to get back, just press that button. And that's really about it. It's quite a cool app. It's been just been released. It's called Dreamboard, and it usually costs money, but you know you can just get a pirated repo and get it for free if you want. Although I wouldn't really recommend that. So as you can see, it's got the date, the uh, the temperature and I have to change that because that's Cypress time but it's still the same it's kind of messed up and for all of you before I get comments saying oh how do I get out of here I'm stuck or not because you'll notice that the lock screen is still the iPhone and you'll get confused so I'm just going to show you how to get out of it quickly you want to go on the main menu and you want to go to your icon so you want to find the dream board icon tap on it it doesn't load up instantly because it has to load up OS's so there you go comes up, scroll left, even though that's not what your dashboard looks like, it's just basically a general picture saying it's the iOS 4 for Apple, so just press on that, and then it comes back to your original home screen. So if you if like this video and it helps you out, then please vote up and subscribe because it helps me out a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.